The communication sector encompasses a wide range of technologies we use every day to talk with one another and access information. From telephone lines and cellular networks to broadcast signals and internet cables. These systems are both complex and highly interconnected, and it would be impossible to cover all of them in a single video. Instead, let's take a simplified look at fiber optic systems to examine both upstream dependencies as well as the systems that rely on them. Fiber optic networks begin with an end user, anything from a person at their desk to a sensor performing water quality monitoring, providing inputs and receiving information at a terminal through a wired or wireless connection. Those inputs are routed through fiber optic lines, through switching stations and to data hubs and servers all around the world and back almost instantly. This modern marvel is dependent on the energy sector to provide power and fuel to every asset along the way, from end users to cell towers to switching stations and data hubs. It also relies on the water sector, which can be used for cooling and fire suppression for server racks and data hubs. Importantly, these networks cannot operate without the information technology sector, which provides not only the applications we use, but also support the routing and management of data requests. Fiber optic networks also provide an excellent example of geographic dependencies. Fiber optic cables often share rights of way with water, electric, and gas systems along road networks. A single hazard could disrupt access to all of these simultaneously. Looking downstream, almost every other sector relies on fiber optic networks to operate. Schools, healthcare facilities, and businesses rely on fiber optic systems for many daily activities. The modern economy, education, and healthcare systems all rely on ready access to the internet. Virtually all modern infrastructure systems employ some form of internet or intranet-based SCADA system to monitor and control activities. For example, Water and wastewater systems often use internet or intranet-based SCADA systems to monitor water quality, control water treatment processes, and detect system leaks. All of these operations would be much more difficult without networked communications. Transportation systems like ports and airports use internet-based systems to track cargo and ensure that traffic is routed safely.